Hi, I'm Owen Wynn from the Open Cloud Academy, and I'm going to describe for you two different hosting solutions. One is a dedicated hardware hosting solution. The other is a cloud solution. And we have a customer that requires three separate web servers because they have enough demand for their website that they warrant having three physical servers. And so a common scenario that you would have in a dedicated hosting environment is you want to have security. So a customer would, would probably require a, a hardware-based firewall solution. So I've got a hardware firewall here. And then after you go through your security screening, you come down to a hardware load balancer. This might be something like an F5 or a Cisco Ace, or there's a number of different uh, hardware where load balancing solutions on the market today. And then you have your actual web servers. And what the, the load balancer does is it balances the connection requests that come in, the actual HTTP requests that are coming in. It balances them between the three different physical boxes here. And then all three of these servers would reference the same database so that the content on the website that's actually being pulled from the database would be the same on each of these three separate servers. So three web servers to handle the load of traffic that's coming in, a balancer to play uh, traffic cop and, and distribute the connections coming in, and then a shared database for consistency. Um, this, this same solution can be mirrored in a cloud environment, in a cloud hosting environment, assuming that there's no PCI requirements or any type of, uh, of uh, limitations there, regulatory limitations. You'd still come in through the internet. From the internet, you would hit a cloud load balancer. Now, a cloud load balancer is still hosted on physical hardware, but that, that hardware is automatically provisioned using software and you would probably have a software version of your load balancer and you would just determine how much how many resources you want to deploy on that device and you would set up your your cloud load balancer and then behind it you would have cloud servers now cloud servers are hosted on actual hardware somewhere inside a data center environment, but the difference is they're virtual machines. And what makes them cloudy is they're going to be automatically provisioned, maybe via an API or a console or something like that. Now these cloud servers don't have, you can see in this topology, there's not a hardware-based firewall in front of them. So oftentimes when you deploy cloud servers, you'll also deploy a software-based firewall right on the cloud server to handle your security for you. And so that same customer with their same three servers could deploy three cloud servers, deploy software firewalls on those cloud servers, and deploy a fourth cloud server that they could use as a database server. And all three of these web heads could reference that cloud server database as they did back in the dedicated solution as well. So two different ways of, of solving the same problem. If you needed more hardware on the cloud side, the big, the big upshot here with the cloud is if you need more hardware, you can automatically provision, you can automatically scale. And on the dedicated side, it's not automatic. You have to physically change out hardware and equipment to make changes. So you have a lot more flexibility with this solution even though it is a virtual solution, it is a cloudy solution, uh, as opposed to your physical dedicated hardware, but that's, that's part of the beauty of the cloud solution. Okay, so that's two solutions for a customer that requires three web heads. I'm Owen Wynn, a CloudU contributor. See you on campus.